After this video, you are going to be doing some earnest programming, and half of the work of programming is actually debugging. I plan at least 10 unsuccessful runs of a simple macro just to show me all the imperfections in my script. The first thing you'll probably encounter is going to be error codes, but they won't make a lot of sense yet, so as you're getting started, your magic wand is going to be the debugging tools in VBE's toolbar. There's a lot to appreciate here, but we're going to focus on step into, toggle breakpoint, and another one that isn't technically a debugging tool, but might as well be commenting. Okay, but even before we look at those, our first recommendation is never execute a new macro on original data. You should only ever test macros on backed up data, or rather test it on the actual backup. If you test it on a backup of the backup, that's even smarter. There are quite a few backups here in my document. I'm all set. Let's try this out. Some errors get automatically caught by Visual Basic, so I don't have to do much sleuthing. Let's see an example here. Let's run this macro using the green triangle play button. In this case, Visual Basic found a critical error before the macro actually did anything. Sometimes it even tells you exactly what the problem is. In this case, it says runtime error 1004 method range of object global failed. Oof. And while that does not make a whole lot of sense to me at this point in my VBA career, if you click debug, we can see the problem line highlighted in yellow. Looks like I missed a character there. So I'm just going to add A to the range name here and rerun that macro and all right, that was perfect. Now, other times your code syntax is correct. So VB doesn't detect anything wrong, but you get an undesired outcome. Let's run this one. This time my macro ran fine, but I'm seeing an undesirable result. Column E is supposed to show the number of hours worked, but my hours here are formatted as dollars. So we need to step into the code and figure out why it's doing that. Now this macro is longer and more complex, and I don't know what all this stuff means from a glance. So it's hard to know where the error is actually happening. This is when the step into tool saves the day. This tool lets me go through the code line by line. The highlight is showing the line that is about to be executed. To run the highlighted line, just click step into. Now I can watch until I find the problem line. Click step into again. Oh, there it is. Column E was formatted when that last line was executed. So let's read it and try and figure it out. Okay, in that last line, it looks like column E is being formatted along with all the other columns as currency. So let me update that so that it omits column E from this formatting code. All right, now let's try and run this again on some fresh data. All right, that was perfect. That step into tool really does wonders. Now, when you're using step into to help you find a bug, the fact that it actually does run every single line of code can actually be a problem. It would be nice if I could skip some lines and just test run a few specific lines I'm interested in. What you need is a breakpoint. A breakpoint is a spot where the macro will pause. Clicking play will execute the macro up until that breakpoint you've set. You can also choose to only run the code after the breakpoint. Just place your cursor on the breakpoint and click play. Add multiple breakpoints if you want. Go crazy. They are easy to remove when you're done. Okay, I think I've figured out the issue here. I'm bolting row three, but there's nothing in row three. Maybe I shouldn't insert that many rows. I wanna just insert two rows. And then if I do that, then bolting row three would be fine. It would be perfect actually. Okay, I think I need to get rid of one of these insert rows so that I just have two. Well, I could delete the line, but what if I change my mind? Do I have to type all this out again if I wanna come back and add that back in? This is a fairly simple line, but what if it were way more complex? Then I would surely want a smarter way to test remove a line without losing it for good. And you can. Most people do this by using the comment tool. You may have noticed that there are some lines in this macro that are green. All those lines begin with an apostrophe or a single quote. And that is how people insert comments in VBA. You can use it to temporarily nullify code. 
See, everything after the apostrophe won't be run as code. VBA kind of doesn't see it. So if you want to try running your macro without one of the lines, instead of deleting it, try commenting it out first. It's easily reversible and lets you test as if that line was actually deleted. If you run it and it runs perfectly, then you know that it's actually safe to delete that line. Okay, wow, this was a lot of information. Is your brain tired yet? Take a break if you need to, or you can practice this and everything else that we've covered in the challenge that follows this video. See you there.